Welcome to the Invite Health Podcast, where our degreed healthcare professionals are excited to offer you the most important health and wellness information you need to make informed choices about your health. You can learn more about the products discussed in each of these episodes and all that Invite Health has to offer at www.invitehealth.com slash podcast. First time customers can use promo code podcast at checkout for an additional 15% off your first purchase. Let's get started. Hi, Jerry Hickey, nutritional pharmacist here, and I'm also the chief scientific officer at Invite Health. We're going to talk now about your meniscus, how to help it heal. Below each knee, there's two rubbery cartilage bands. They're called the meniscus. And the meniscus, they act like a cushion for your knee joint. They help keep it in place. They support it when you're walking. And for your thigh bone and your shin bone, the long bones in your legs, preventing them from banging together. It also um, keeps your uh, connection between your long bones and your leg more stable. So it's a platform where they meet. Now the inside meniscus is called the medial meniscus. And a meniscus on the outside of each knee is called the lateral meniscus. So it has two meniscus under each knee, inside and outside. And a very common knee injury is tearing the meniscus. Now, if it's severe or the meniscus is really out of place, like it's extruding, um, you might need surgery. But for a less than severe tear, often time and physical therapy and rest and icing it can heal it. So how does it commonly tear? Well, you know, when you if you twist your knee by accident, if you slip and twist your knee, or if you play a sport or exercise where there's a lot of quick pivots, I mean, that's a typical cause. However, with age, your meniscus degenerates and you're more likely to tear it. And this contributes to the onset of osteoarthritis of the knee. They've shown in human clinical trials that once there's a severe tear of the meniscus, there's less support for the knee joint, and you start to erode the knee joint, and it leads to severe arthritis. Now, there are supplements that can help. There's actually a journal called Knee. (laughs) In 2017, Japanese researchers looking at the existing evidence found a decline in collagen and proteoglycans in a meniscus that contributed to tearing the meniscus. So collagen is a common protein that makes your connective tissue, and glucosamine and chondroitin are common proteoglycans in these tissues, but also dermatan sulfate and keratin sulfate. So normally for the knee, I recommend collagen. That's sort of the template for all the tissues in the knee, including the meniscus. And Um, I add glucosamine and chondroitin, really high quality. It has to be a a superior grade or it doesn't help. And I also recommend a product called Flex HX, which is a little bit different. It's more for ligaments and tendons, but I find that it helps older people with their meniscus. It's uh, where they take a, a type 1 collagen and they liberate the collagen peptides and they concentrate the ones specific for certain connective tissues. And what I did, I added dermatan sulfate, some copper, some manganese, because they're needed for these tissues. And you don't get enough of them in multivitamins to address uh, degeneration of these tissues and a little bromelain for inflammation. And I found that this helped with, um, with knee problems and cartilage problems and meniscal problems in general. Now, there was a serendipity. Serendipity is a happy accident, you know, like the, uh, the discovery of penicillin. And I was giving clients uh, products for their bone health, and I was using the mineral strontium. Strontium is an amazing mineral. It's found in bone, and very quickly it adds on to the width of bone. So in older women who've lost a lot of bone, it can help lower their risk of of um, fracturing their, their, their hip or fracturing their spine by giving them strontium. It builds up the bone quicker. But when I was giving several of these clients collagen and, you know, the obvious bone building supplements like vitamin D and calcium, and then I added strontium, a number of them came back to me and said, hey, my meniscus is better. I couldn't believe it. And um, 
Oh, by the way, if you ever take strontium, it has to be taken away from other minerals. So I tell people, don't take it with food, don't take it with minerals, take it by itself with just a glass of water. Because it'll attach to minerals like calcium and magnesium and potassium and zinc, and you won't absorb it. Now, a number of studies have shown that strontium builds bone. There's quite a few studies. They use strontium as an injection. It's called strontium ranolate. In America, we use strontium as a supplement at strontium citrate. And strontium addresses bone throughout the body, including the spine and the knee. But uh, in the journal Arthritis Research and Therapy, the University of Montreal Hospital Research Center, they performed a phase three clinical trial. So it's their third study, and this is right before releasing strontium as a drug. It was a three-year duration of 217 patients with a more severe tear of their meniscus, where the meniscus was actually jutting out of place. That usually requires surgery. And they gave them strontium injections over the three-year period, and it really prevented further erosion of the knee joint tissue and stabilized the tissues of the knee, and it prevented further erosion of the meniscus, and it was really helping their knee pain. So there's something to it. So here's what I normally recommend when somebody comes in with a mild tear of the meniscus. I tell them to ice it after use. Whenever you use ice, don't use it for more than 22 minutes or it becomes negative. So I tell them ice it for 15 to 20 minutes after use, you know, after going to the gym or playing a sport. Try to rest it, try to elevate it. Um, if it's bad enough, I tell them, listen, you have to see an orthopedic doctor and have them prescribe physical therapy. I mean, that's how you find out you have a tear meniscus in the first place. You see an orthopedic doctor. But if they're really suffering, I say, listen, go back to the doctor, ask for physical therapy. They'll write a prescription. It'll be covered by the insurance or at least nominally covered. And then I give them the supplements collagen and flex HX to mix together and separately I give them three capsules of strontium once a day, and it really seems to promote a, a, a more rapid healing of the meniscus. Now, thank you for tuning in to the Invite Health Podcast. You can find all of our episodes for free wherever you listen to podcasts or by visiting invitehealth.com forward slash podcast. Please make sure you subscribe and please leave us a review. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Invite Health. And I hope to see you next time on another episode of the Invite Health Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Music.